This Week in Agribusiness. Serving America's most essential industry is brought to you by ADM. Now here's America's legendary ag broadcast team, Max Armstrong and Orion Samuelson. Welcome back to this week's edition of This Week in Agribusiness. And with wintry weather moving in for a lot of us, Max, we can still go back to last summer. Yeah, we're continuing our look at products and services from the Farm Progress Show. The best of the Farm Progress Show, our series here, including a look at the products of Trimble. Their GPS display screen got some attention this fall, to be sure, as Matt Hess shared with me. The new display that we launched is the CFX 750. It brings us into our entry-level market. Uh, the usability of the system uh, enhances quite dramatically. Uh, we haven't, it's now a touchscreen system, so the expandability of our products is much easier for the growers and, and end users because um, the simple and the ease of use is what we're after. Um, it also has an integrated GPS system uh, as well as the GLONASS system. So as we've been hearing a lot of the talks with the GPS satellites and, uh, and things going on up in the skies, uh, the future proof and the expandability for GLONASS is pretty important. Uh, so now we get both constellations. So the amount of runtime pretty much goes to 24 hours without having to worry about the GPS. It also offers the ability to uh, go with an RTK radio built into it. Um, or you can run off a of VRS Now network using cell phone modems and, and things like that. The CFX 750 uh, really goes after as well as the connected farm, uh, the wireless trans, um, transmissions, and uh, that, that brings the whole thing together because obviously in the field, if you're the more time you can be doing of something less and the more time you farm and the more productivity and efficiency you get with it. So, uh, and it, it allows us to expand in our areas as well. Our field IQ system, which uh, is a more intense uh, spreader, sprayer application, uh, tying into the machines, the, allows us to expand quite rapidly with it. And the display, as I understand it, your new display, you can plug cameras into it, a couple of cameras. That's correct. So we have two video inputs. Uh, so it allows the uh, user to select um, one or two or none, uh, but it allows them to add basically almost any type of camera uh, and, and monitor different things. And we know that there's many things that people want to monitor, and some of these uh, implements are pretty pretty big, and you can't see left or right or too far behind you, so you can run some cables and run a camera back there, and there's no more trying to understand or guess what's going on. Um, and combines and grain carts have been a, a, a big hit for, for many, many years, and to monitor the grain coming out of the, of the spout is, is pretty important. The display, I understand it correctly, uh, is a is the kind of thing that should help that producer get into this uh, technology for someone who really hasn't uh, immersed themselves yet. Yeah, absolutely, and that's one thing that Trimble has really gone after is to listen to the customers and know exactly what uh, we need to put out in the system. Um, because every day, you know, we only touch these things a couple times a year sometimes, and you know, to retrain all the time isn't the most efficient time of the uh, of their use. So we need to uh, make it very easy, and that's one thing we really go after, and our expandability of the product. So a uh, grower can start with this display, have the same user functionality on this display as our mainstream display, our FMX display, and work back and forth without having any retraining curves. Matt and his colleagues at Trimble have more information they can share with you on their new display screen and other products. You can go online to their website, trimble.com slash agriculture.